Hey everyone, hope you're having good start to your week and welcome back for more EXO's Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to talk about FC Garf, her hero profile, strengths and weaknesses, skills, playability, recommended Guardian Stones, synergy with other heroes, overall rating, and my final thoughts. But before that, if you want to see more EXO's Heroes content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Let's try to take a look at Garp's profile. So she is a she in her FC form. So she hails from the nation of Saint West. Her element is light. Her position is on defense and attack type is physical. And guess what? Her race is she is a dwarf. Um, this look for for Garf is a bit subtle and it's it's a bit interesting because she poses like she doesn't really care about the world so let's move on to her stats her strengths and weaknesses so as for Garf's strengths so Garf has above average HP she has above average defense and she also have has above average block she has an average hit average dodge and average speed um, th these are good stats for a defender because um, this keeps her very flexible in most lineups the only weakness that Garf has is her low attack which in principle she doesn't really need that much because she's valued more as a protector and as a um, a buffer of her team so next is we move on to her skills so let us take a look at Garf's passive so Garf has protect 3 for her passive she has breath of mana as well so front row allies permanently get, gain 1 mana she has command so grants allies with lower maximum health than self with command mark and increase defense slash health by 20% which is very big that is why I will link this later in her recommended Guardian Stones. And also for her FC form, she gains Barrier of Will. So it triggers 70% more of own maximum health. Um, I wish this would stop. <laughs> it's taken once, can't be removed. So reduces all, all received damage including current damage from 50%. So anyway... Barrier of Will is is what the one that, that protects her. So for her, she is actually gi giving share health to the lowest HP member of your team. So while Barrier of Will protects her, um, decreases damage to her, um, she protects one member of your team as well. So and the the good thing about Garf's passive is that she bumps up your defense and your hp as long as you have less hp than her so overall garf's passive is very it's very powerful um hard to hard to pierce especially if you have units that have um uh, have uh, gain health um later i'll i'll discuss more on the synergy with other heroes moving on to her s1 so her S1 is has less damage uh, for for her FC versus her original uh, form. It's only 187% damage, but it has a damage over time with curse, dealing with 49% damage every turn for six turns, which is still very powerful. And her S2, so her S2 is unchanged from her original form. So deals 420% damage to all back row enemies. So to sum it up, if um, if you have FC Garf and you compare her with the regular Garf, so there are very little little differences in her kit. So for one is S1 is a bit bigger and um, FC has barrier will. Um, I think. Um, Pyro will gives her a bit more tankiness. That is why 
for me, I think if you have a chance to get her during the banner that is up right now, I think you should get her. And by the way, guys, um, I would remind you to subscribe. Please subscribe and push that button down below. As for Garf's playability, Garf is very good as your as your hero in your main PvP team. He's she she or he is is also good in your um, tag teams in, in PvP. So even if you have the regular Garf and the FC Garf, they're very they're both very good. So I wouldn't you know I wouldn't leave them out of your roster. She gives such a big bonus in terms of health and defense. For your PvE, she has been good um, as I played her in almost all the chapters. Um, she is also good in your squadron battle um, because most of the time you're you're using what you're using for your squadron battle is your PvP team, and she is actually very good as well in the Holy Dragon Grounds because of Bar of Will. Um, again, same with your PvP teams. She gives you 20% defense and 20% health to all of your members and, and share health with your squishiest um, team member for the Holy Dragons. That's why she's very good. Um, if you have the opportunity to, to take her in your team, please do. Um, she will um, carry you um, very far with Holy Dragon Grounds. So as for as for Garf's uh, recommended Guardian Stones, so the only two stones that I would recommend are the first one is uh, your Nature Set, which is your Green, because for equips set effects, she will she will get plus eight dodge or plus twenty, and when she you awaken her with your with your dodge or your Green or your Nature Set effect. She will get plus 50 500 health or plus 2000 health plus dodge of plus 3 and plus 12. So um, the only the only stat that uh, I think you should enhance with Garf because she has already a high block rate is her dodge and her HP. Particularly her HP which comes to our next set which is fire. So um, for her equip set effects, she'll be given a uh, total damage reduction of plus 5%, plus 10, and plus 20. But the best part when you awaken her with the fire set is that she'll be given either plus 750, plus 2250, or plus 5000 HP, which complements her passive. That is why, um, again, uh, play to her strengths because uh, once she gets more health, the more she could shield um, your team, uh, her teammates, and the more she can absorb damage as well. As far as as far as Garf is concerned, in terms of synergy with uh, with other heroes, so number one, Garf goes well with glass cannon heroes, with heroes with with less health because you can really pick. Uh, from your team, um, uh, a hero that she she will be guarding, so she acts as your bodyguard. So the best combo right now, which is very timely for this video, is if you put um, Dorka in your team. She 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 guards Dorka because I think Dorka has the lowest health of your team member. So you should check first if Dorka indeed has the lowest health, um, because. Um, the synergy works well because Dorka heals um, her other teammates, so she heals Garf as well. So it's a good combo that you should um, uh, take note and probably use if you have both of them. So in any case, Garf is very good in any hero that needs protection. She is your ultimate bodyguard. Um, she is a big shield for me with the big lance so I think she works well with these characters on the screen um, obviously she has a good synergy with uh, with uh, Rudley but 
again she works well with squishy characters so try to get her with the banner that's up right now so again for Garf um, let's discuss her overall rating so the rating system is the highest is 5 the lowest is 1 so we'll start off with her stats stat wise Garf is a 4 because she doesn't have that much of a of a weakness she only has that one stat that she is low in attack the rest of her skills are it's either she's on above average or average stat which is really good um, that is why I put it, her on a 4 because she's very solid um, she is a um, great overall character with her stats and her skills complement it as well. The next is your playability. So I would rate uh, Garf as a four in terms of playability because she can be used almost in any part of the game, any content of the game, whether it be it your chapters, whether it be it your squadron battle, whether it be it your your uh, challenges. But she is very good in your. Uh, dragon stage which is your holy dragon ground because she protects uh, all of her teammates there and it, there they are 10 there so again her playability score is a 4 next is her synergy with other heroes so Garf is you, you, you can't go wrong with Garf um, she can be put in any team um, she can be she can be you know she doesn't have any requirements to be used that's it she is very versatile defender she is playable with anyone but she excels most with squishy characters that you have to protect example there is Dorka again so the other one could be probably be Rera or anyway um, but her her job solely is to guard your squishiest character. That is why for synergy you can't go wrong with her with a five. So would you need uh, her FC if you really have her? Well, if you have her original uh, form, I don't think um, if you don't have the means to summon for her FC, then. You don't have to but if you can and if you have the means to summon for her fate core i think you should because um buyer will is a big plus in terms of what she can give to your team her survivability and the survivability of your team so my last would be final thoughts for fc garf so she goes well again with uh, any team and again, I would quote, she is the perfect bodyguard for your squishiest character. So the key to her is to increase her HP and give her constant heal. And again, try to work out that combo with Dorka. So guys, well, let me, let me know what you think with this uh, um, gameplay for, for Garf. Let me know if you you like it or you dislike it. Please write it in the comments below. And that concludes this video for today. Let me know what you think. You all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.